the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us once again this afternoon as we pray. It's our time for prayer for the nation. No matter what nation that you are from, we're going to pray for your nation. We're going to pray because this is the season for us to pray and see a change in our nations, in our circumstances, in our situations, in the name of Jesus Christ. So the first prayer that I want us to launch into straight away is a prayer about the universal credit. Now in the UK, universal credit has been set up to help people perhaps because they're out of work or they need extra money. And we've been told in the news that 107,000 people signed up for universal credit yesterday uh, in the past few days. So in the past few days, we've had an increase of 107,000 people sign up for it. Now, that's amazing because that means a lot of work will need to go on on the background to get this done. So our first prayer is this. I want us to pray for those working in the government agencies that need to process this universal credit. Let's pray that God will give them wisdom, God grant them grace, God grant them power, God, God grant them the ability to quickly process this um, universal credit for many people in the name of Jesus because the food they're going to eat, the food their children is going to eat, the way they're going to pay their rent, a lot of things will be hanging on getting paid. So let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up the people working for the DWP. Perhaps your country, you call it something else. Any kind of social security that people need right now, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for grace for those workers, for power for those workers, for divine ability. We speak forth divine ability. We speak forth speed in the name of Jesus. Speed to process things well. Speed to process things diligently. Lord, grant them new levels of understanding so that in this season, they discover new ways. They become more innovative. Oh yeah, we pray for innovation at this time in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant them great innovation that they are able to process uh, applications quicker and better in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for everyone who will receive what they applied for. Lord, we thank you that this money will be processed very speedily and effectively in Jesus' precious name. Oh, hallelujah. Please let us know what your country perhaps calls your social security system. And um, it would be good for us also to know where you are praying from this afternoon. God bless you. All right, let's move on quickly because time just seems to go. In Ephesians chapter 5, if we turn there very quickly, Ephesians chapter 5. As I was praying this morning, I began to think about this and I said, wow, this has got to be something that will happen if we put our minds to it. In Ephesians chapter 5, the Bible tells us something very interesting there. It says in verse uh, 15, it said, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Then it says, Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Making the most of every opportunity. Now, I, I was saying this on Sunday that we should see this season as a season of opportunity. Because if you see it as a season of opportunity, you will use this season better than you would have if you do not see it that way. So I want us to pray and ask God this. <laughs> Lord, what are the opportunities that I have right now that I need to make sure that I exploit? Sometimes, like I said, it could be your time to do some study around certain subjects or to upgrade your skills or to rest. Yeah, <laughs> it could be your opportunity to rest. So I want us to pray in the name of Jesus that we are going to use this season as a great 
time to develop ourselves, a great, a great time to progress, a great time to move up the ladder in the name of Jesus. See this season as your season of opportunities. Father, we thank you According to your word, you said we should make the most of every opportunity. Why? Because the days are evil. Because we don't know exactly what may happen tomorrow. But when you position us by your power, when we keep in step with the Holy Spirit, we are able to see and use this season, this season in the world as an opportunity, an opportunity for creativity, an opportunity for innovation, an opportunity for growth, an opportunity for empowerment, an opportunity for advancement, an opportunity for great learning, an opportunity for rejuvenating our bodies, an opportunity to rest, an opportunity to help others, an opportunity to pray. Some of us, Lord, we've not even prayed for a long time in the afternoon. Thank you for this opportunity to pray and see a change take place in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you because we know that this is an opportunity that we are going to explore and exploit in the name of Jesus. So we give you praise in advance. Thank you for how you will lead each one of us this afternoon. From this time on, we begin to see this as an opportunity, an opportunity to progress in our careers, an opportunity to expand our businesses, an opportunity to get new contracts, an opportunity to think of new ways of working, an opportunity for the church, oh yeah, thank you Lord, an opportunity for the church to work in a new way, an opportunity for the church to grow, an opportunity for the church to reach more people, an opportunity for souls to be saved, oh yeah, an opportunity for souls to be saved in this season in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's an opportunity. We have opportunities right now. And I pray for you. You join us today. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus that you will see the opportunities that you need to exploit in the name of Jesus. May you see those opportunities. I pray that the Lord <clears throat> will open will open the eye of your heart that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of the glorious inheritance in the saints and its incomparably great power for you who believe that you will see opportunities and exploit them in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Oh my goodness. Time is going really fast. Yeah. So we have a great opportunity right now. We're praying into those opportunities and we are, we, we are seeking even greater opportunities. Let me tell you something. Great businesses have been started when there's been depression. Great businesses, Woolworths and, and, and all those kind of businesses who were started when things were really difficult. I want us to pray asking God. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do this. Let's ask God this. Lord, what business can I start right now? What business can I start right now? I want us to pray for business or what products, what products should I bring out right now? What products should I bring out right now? Let's, let's pray asking God like that. What business shall I start right now? Father, we, we seek you for ideas. We seek you for ideas because we know that we're in the season of, an, of, of a great opportunity. So we ask you, Lord, by your spirit, by your spirit, just like David prayed and said, shall I pursue them? Will I overtake them? We're asking, asking you, oh God, like Jacob asked, like Jacob was seeking God for how he will prosper, right? He was seeking God. God now told him, the angel appeared to him and told him how he must place a, a bark in front of the animals. And when they looked at the animals, they brought forth streak animals, okay? In the name of Jesus, we're asking, oh God, what businesses, what products, what ideas are you giving us right now? Whether you are in Canada, whether you're in Zimbabwe, whether you're in South Africa, whether you are in the UK, you can come up with good ideas by the leading of the Holy Spirit to know exactly how to 
perhaps reshape your business, reorganize yourself so that this season will be for you, your season to prosper, your season of opportunity in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord on that one. Praise God. All right. Let's progress uh, um, in the name of Jesus. Right. I want us to pray for frontline staff. Amen. Frontline staff. You know, nurses, those who are looking after the vulnerable, they still, I was watching the news earlier on and it said that nurses are still having to travel in tube, tubes, packed trains to go to work. And so they're not, they're not able to observe the, the uh, one meter or two meters um, rule of being, of being uh, socially isolated, right? So they're putting their lives on the line. They're putting their lives on the line for, for sick people. They're, those who are recovering from a variety of, of sicknesses. Paul said something in, in, um, in first, first Corinthians chapter, chapter 15, First Corinthians 15, verse 31. I'm going to read from 31 and then go to 32. He says, I face death every day, just like the nurses are doing, right? <laughs> I face death every day. Yes, just as surely as I boast about you in Christ, our Lord, if I fought... With, if I fought wild beasts in Ephesus for no more than human hopes, what have I gained if the dead are not raised? Right now, I use that as Paul's fight of wild beasts, meaning spiritual uh, um, demons, um, in Ephesus as to pray for the frontline staff because they are also waging war against sicknesses. They're waging war against diseases. They're waging war against this virus. So I want us to pray for them that just like God strengthened Paul, that he was able to advance and overcome. We also want to pray for this frontline staff, doctors, nurses, health workers, in the name of Jesus, that they overcome. I understand I have four more minutes <laughs> that they, they overcome in the name of Jesus, that the Lord empower them to overcome. The Lord strengthen them to overcome. And I'm praying also for their families, that their families shall be protected right now in the name of Jesus. The same type of protection that God gave Paul. Lord, protect our frontline workers. Protect our Protect our police, protect our fire brigade right now, protect our uh, um, health workers in the name of Jesus. Protect those who are working with the vulnerable, those who are working with the elderly, those who are working with those who are sick. Lord, we pray. Those working in intensive care. Yeah, Lord, those working in intensive care. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you give them great ideas. You give them good understanding. Lord, you give them hope. May they seek you right now so that as in one hand they're administering medicine, they also administer prayer. In the name of Jesus, we pray in Jesus' name that Christians who are working in hospitals, that they begin to exercise God's gift, God's gift, God's power, God's unction over the sick in Jesus' name. For the Bible says that we lay hands on the sick and they get well. Let miracles take place through the hands of Christians. Let miracles take place through the hands of Christian nurses and doctors in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let it be, oh Lord, let it be, oh Lord, let it be, oh God. I, we want to believe, we join hands and we believe God. We believe God right now for miracles to take place through the hands of Christians that are in the front line in the name of Jesus. Let it be so, Father, let it be so. Let it be so, oh God. Let it be so, O oh Lord. Let it be so, O oh God. Let it be said. Let it be said like that we prayed today. Let testimonies come as a result of this prayer. Oh, yes, Lord. Let testimonies come as a result of this prayer that we joined hands together on this day, the 25th day of March. 
at 12 noon when we prayed, we asked God for miracles. We asked God for clear miracles that people would lay hands on the sick and they get well. May those, may those miracles be broadcasted across the nations. May it come through the hands of you and me. May it come through the hands of the frontline workers who are born again believers. Even the unsaved may speak and say, well, we don't know what to do. We call on the name of Jesus and there shall be healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because Christ died on the cross for all of us. Oh, we give you